Hello friends, how are you doing? So today is Friday here, so I hope you are doing well. And today I'm going to share something with you. Uh, this is a project I'm currently working on it, and uh, it's, it's not finished yet, so uh, I'd like to do a video first before I, I forget it, because uh, this project may be uh, take a uh, Take me a few time to, to finish it. And I also need your help to give your suggestions. So if you have uh, any other ideas, so you can leave your comments there. So basically this tool is help to, to manage the approval flow, uh, workflows. So basically uh, this tool, uh, after you logged in, you can send a approval request for approve, okay? So uh, I have to say this is not finished yet, just the idea, and I just finished about 20%. Uh, so right now here we can uh, log in, as you can see here. So let's and you also you can sign up. So for this sign up, you need to have a invitation code here, okay? And also you all have a, a role for this uh, for this tool. And uh, in this tool, we're going to have an admin role and a standard role. Okay, for admin role, you can send invitations to other people. So here, so let's do this login. After you log in, let's let's try the test uh, account here. Admin at gmail .com, and the password is one two three. So admin. Okay. I know something is wrong because this uh, this admin user is not uh, is not signed up. So if you go back to the data source here, if you go to check this user sheet, so it's empty. There is no user here. So that's why we got this kind of information here. All right. So first, let let's sign up. So to sign up here, you need to have an email address. So let's go to since this is at first you need to have a account admin account to send the invit uh, invitations okay so let's copy this email address this is fake address okay so I put it here and uh, so it says uh, you need to enter the invitation code so the code I think is admin okay so if everything works fine, you should be able to get this admin role here. So if I try to put another code here, maybe a wrong code, you can see this error message here. So it's invalid invitation code. And I should fix this issue because there is no gap here. So let's try to make it better. Okay, so now we have this admin and you can Add your personal information here. I just collect the first name and last name, and also you need to add the password. So for now, I just add a password for admin. Admin. So if you click this submit, it's going to do all the validation. If everything is working, uh, if okay, so now it's registered in the database, and if you go to the database here in this user sheet you should be able to see all of this information here and the password is encoded here okay so you have this email address admin here and uh, first name last name just very simple information for this example you can add more information if you like all right so now we have a user sign up and we can try to log in now okay so email admin at gmail.com password is one two three and try to log in why it's oh, okay password is not one two three password is admin login okay so now it's submitting so once you log in you should uh, be able to see the home page like this so once you log in uh, this this tool will know who you are and grab your first name and last name and you will be able to log out here and uh, this is your first name 
and your uh, role and uh, your access to this tool. So if you are admin user, you should you should see two sections here. The, the first one is for the standard part, the standard functions you can use, and another one is admin. So for the admin here, uh, for the button, this is uh, disabled here because this is uh, not ready. So I just disable it for now. And uh, this is the part I'm going to work on them. So basically, uh, my idea is to use this tool to send new approvals. And uh, so for new approvals, we're going to have approval like this. So you are going to have approval ID here. And I'm going to have a title and what kind of uh, approval you need. And you're going to have a very detailed description for the approval. And you can assign this approval to somebody. OK. Uh, and uh, you are going to grab the creator email address here. And uh, you also can upload uh, attachment here. And uh, I'm going to have a status for this approval, for this line of approval. OK. Now we also have some comments here. And this is the information to collect the new approval. OK. And you also need to handle the approvals in this. And you're going to have the pending approvals. If somebody send approval to you, and you should be able to see it here. And if you, you also have a record of all your approvals. So it's a send approvals, you send it to others. And you also can see all of the approvals sent to you or you send to somebody else. All right. And you also, you can edit your uh, profile, your, your personal information. And uh, as an admin here, you can send invitation. And then you also can manage users. You can delete users. You can add new users. OK, so this is a, a, a basic function right now I can uh, I designed for now. So we can add more uh, uh, functions here. So right now, let's try to use this edit profile. Uh, maybe, maybe this invitation first, because I'd like to in, invite somebody. So I'd like to invite myself as an admin user here. OK, so for this invitation, you need to enter an email address. So it should be a valid email address, or you cannot receive the invitation. And uh, I can choose if this is an admin user or standard user. So I choose admin for my email address. And I can send this email right now. So it said an invitation has been sent to this email address. All right. So if we go back to the spreadsheet here, you see we have this invitation sent. And if I go back to my email box, I should be able to see. I hope I can get it. Let's refresh it. OK, it's loading. What's wrong? OK, so basically, uh, you should be able to receive an email with the uh, invitation code. OK, so once you got the invitation code, you can sign up. Why it take so long? OK, so once you get the invitation code, you, you are going to have a link. Uh, and then we will bring you to this uh, website. And uh, if you <laughs> it took so long, so just to do, uh, if you log out and they will bring you here, and then you can click this sign up, and you put the email address and the invitation code just like just like what I did for the admin user uh, here, and they put your personal information and set your pass set your passcode here, and you will be registered as a new user. So I believe something wrong with my Gmail here. So let's try to use this code here uh, to register my uh, real email account here. So let's try to email address, invitation code. Something wrong because, uh, as you know, the Google service is blocked in China. So there may be sometimes uh, 
there is a connection issues. Okay, I finally got it. So you should be able to uh, receive an email like this. Uh, zoom in a little bit. And uh, you, this is a link you should, you should be used to sign up. And uh, you have the, uh, the access rule for the application. So you are an admin user. And uh, this is uh, the code you can use for the sign up. So let's copy this and go to this sign up form, enter the code. Now you get this admin. So this is not editable. You only can uh, generate it from the email and the invitation code. Okay, for his first name, last name, my real name, and then my last name. So for the passcode, let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, and uh, submit. Okay, now a new user has been added. Now, as you can see here, I have this admin here. All right. And I should be able to log in with my email address. One, two, three, login. So now this is my profile. So if you click the uh, profile here, you should be able to see the information about me. So it's an active user. And uh, this is your email address. You cannot change. And this is a role you, can, you cannot change. I think only the admin users can change. Uh, your access and you also be able to uh, modify the personal information like the first name last name only two information is here and uh, as you can so I, I I didn't add the save button here so you you can change it but you cannot as you can see here it's changed but uh, you cannot save it save it save it for now but I can add it later so we are working on that. So let's go back to home page. And uh, we just see the invitation and the edit profile function. OK, so you can add more functions uh, in this tool. So for this new approval, uh, I still, uh, I'm still working on it because this is uh, so basically, it's very simple, and I'm going to have a form here to collect the information for uh, the approval. So you're going to have a title, description, and assign to somebody, and if and then we're going to collect the creator, uh, which is active user, and they're going to upload some files. So it's going to collect all of, all of this information, and once we once you click the submit, we are going to send an email to the approver okay, with, a, with a link. So once they uh, click the link, it will, it will bring uh, him to this website to do the approve. Okay, once, uh, so later, if, 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 if he approved it or rejected it, we are going to collect the result and uh, update the approval here, okay. So this is the basic idea, all right? So if you are, uh, so let's create a, maybe let's create a, a, a standard user. So let's just use a fake uh, email address. Let's say standard gmail.com. And the choose some so a standard user, and I'm gonna send it. This this uh, email address is a stand is a fake address, so I cannot receive the code. But I can see the code here in this invitations. So I'm going to use this code here. I'm going to copy the code and try to sign up. Okay. I have to log out first and uh, sign up. Uh, email address is standard at gmail.com. And invitation code here. So now you have a standard user. So first name, maybe called standard. Mm, last name, 
use my last name, password, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, so now you should be able to see it here. Okay. All right, let's try to log in. Then third at Gmail password one two three login. So as a standard user, you only have this section. You don't have this admin access. Okay. So in this way, you only can send approvals, and you can also see your pending approvals just like that. All right. Mm, so basically that's almost everything for now but I'll go to make another video or more videos about this project so if you have any other ideas or suggestions for me please leave your comment and uh, if you think this tool will be helpful for you maybe you can give a, a, maybe a, after I finish this project I will publish my script Okay, for now I'm, I'm not going to do that because it's not finished and I'm not going to confuse you because uh, this project is, um, it is a little bit complex for, uh, for now so I'm going to keep it as it. So this is a first video about this project. I'm going to up, uh, do some uh, follow-up uh, videos about it and uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback, okay? So basically this tool uh, for the uh, technologies, uh, web te technology I'm using here uh, is main, uh, of course, the Google Apps Script and uh, I'm using Vue.js. Also, I'm also uh, try to use this, this materialized CSS in this project. So it's to help, uh, it helped me to build this uh, a good looking uh, UI so uh, I think that's almost it for today's video okay so uh, and uh, this tool uh, I also set up uh, so it can remember your login so if you try to refresh it uh, it will not go uh, the browser will know so basically I, I, I stored the uh, some information in the local storage, so you will uh, you will check it. Uh, once you refresh the page, we're going to check if this user uh, is uh, already uh, logged in or not. And uh, I set up. A, let me show you. I set up. A, let's try to search sixty. So I set up. A, expiration time for 30 minutes so if you didn't log in 30 minutes so you will be logged out okay you can change it here so basically it's a it acts like a normal website okay so i hope you all have a good weekend and i'll see you next time bye bye